my friends are since. Donner. If you say the word Donner to somebody in Glasgow, the first thing that's going to come to mind is a deliciously meaty, questionable kebab that you would ingest after a particularly heavy night of drinking on the town. Now this is not the kind of Donner that I'm going to be talking about today. No, I'm going to be referring to Donner, the company that produces affordable musical instruments for the creative peoples like you and I. If you spend any time on synth YouTube, particularly over the past few months, you'll almost certainly have come across Donner even if you didn't realise it because they make a whole bunch of different guitar pedals and stuff like that. But they've also been sending out their B1 bass synthesizer, which is a kind of 303 clone, to what seems like every man and their dog out there in YouTube reviewer land. And so when Donner got in touch with me directly, because of course they would, and they said, hey, do you want to have a look through our catalogue and see if there's anything in there that you think looks cool and you might want to do a wee video on, then of course I wanted to jump in that bandwagon and of course I wanted to get involved with the cool kids and of course I told them, obviously I want to try out the tongue drum. You thought I was going to say a B1 bass synthesizer, but no, I wanted to try out the tongue drum because to be honest, doing a video on another bass synthesizer that everyone's already covered didn't seem all that exciting. I also don't know that much about the 303 anyway, you know, so shh, don't tell anybody. So I took the chance to get a tongue drum because I've been having a look at these for a long time. They have a particularly interesting and pleasant sound. And to be honest, I wanted to experiment and see what I could do with it. So thanks to Donner for sending this. There is a discount code for the Donner website and a link and all that stuff below uh, so you can go and see if you want to get your own tongue drum, that's where you get it. Fairly quickly after having the discussion with Donner, they sent me out the tongue drum and um, here it is. If you're not familiar with a tongue drum and you want to know more about the history of the instrument and how it evolved from, you know, the African wooden slit drums, then this is definitely not the video to watch because I know nothing about them. As far as I understand it though, the basics are that they are steel drums that are called by different names like hank drums and things like that. And they have a varying number of tongues on them, hence the name tongue drum. And each tongue is pitched to a different note. Now each tongue drum will have a different scale so that when you play them they all sound nice and harmonious and all that kind of stuff. This one I believe is 10 inches. I think it has got eight tongues. I should probably have checked that before I did this video. But I also am led to believe that this is a D major tongue drum. So should sound particularly pleasant to the old ear holes. Now I have to say that when I got the tongue drum through from Donner, I was actually really pleasantly surprised with what came in the package. Because not only is this tongue drum nice and a... Uh, you know, it, it's pretty hefty feeling, which uh, it was reassuring. But it also came with a bunch of accessories, which I didn't really anticipate. I have some nice uh, knockers here, if you will. There was also uh, this songbook, which allows you to play uh, different kinds of classics, such as Kang Ding Love Song, Let's Sway Twin Oars, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and a whole bunch of other things that I will never ever be able to play because I am musically incompetent. But also, what is probably one of my favorite features or accessories, this rather nice padded case. So uh, yeah, g good job Donner, I like this a lot actually. Happy birthday, 5565. Five, Oh wait, there's dots under the numbers? I told you I was not going to be able to do this. I wonder if the reason it doesn't necessarily sound like happy birthday is for copyright purposes. Do you think I'll get a strike for this? No, no, surely not. Now obviously the kind of steel drum like this is more suited for people that like to relax or meditate or do yoga or apparently soothe their pet's anxiety. That's something I read online. However, that is not what this channel is all about. And so I'm going to experiment by recording some of the sounds from the tongue drum and then running it through a whole bunch of weird and wonderful effects pedals to see what kind of cool sounds I can come up with. So that's what I'm going to do right now.
Now, obviously, we managed to get some really weird and beautiful sounds out of the tongue drum there, as one might expect. The resonance of it works really well with a nice delay, you know, a big reverb and all that kind of thing. However, I also want to see what I can do with it in terms of actual bits of music. So I'm going to now just play out my attempts at using the tongue drum in some kind of classic All My Friends Are Synths style electronica uh, thing. Overall, I'm really pleased that Donna got in touch with me and even more pleased actually that they had the gumption to send me a tongue drum instead of a synthesizer, which would have made far more sense for this channel in some ways. But actually, would it? because the tongue drum really does fit my personality a bit better, I think. Thank you, goodbye, bye, 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 bye.